Yes, we are in mid-February. I believe it's like February 13th or 14th, girl, I don't know. Um, look at this hair, girl. I am serving you 1950s rocks, but <laughs> Little Richard. <laughs> I'm serving you Little Richard teas with this hair. Anyway, y'all, I got up early, actually late for me, 5.30, and really started to look into, I, I, I feel like I keep saying this, but ways that I can cut in my diet. And I started looking into, I know what's really big right now is keto diet. And, you know, I've always looked into the paleo diet, stuff like that. So, yeah, I just see something that's very similar with all of those diets. It's hardly no processed foods, one. Um, no sugars, no refined sugars, a lot of leafy greens, no alcohol. Girl, that's, gonna, that's not gonna be too bad for me because I, I honestly probably drink down once a week, maybe. And that's wine, heart liquor. I could go months and I have a drink. Mm-hmm. So you you guys probably know what day it is. It's Valentine's Day. And this is JB Box Girl. Look. This school, yeah, these school activities be a little pricey every now and then, See? but I do everything to save money. So you guys saw in the previous video, I already had this stuff for Valentine's Day. Got the cards last year. Now they're saying when I when I uh picked them up last week or two weeks ago. They're like, well, your kids have to have a Valentine's Day box so they can put their cards in. Baby, I, look, this is an old, what is this, Burberry <laughs> perfume box? Did my, cause my husband bought me Burberry last year. This is an old box, perfume yeah, box. Yeah, and, and, and we have JB has a warm door. black box. And we have a warm blue box. I'm trying to, uh, uh -huh. I thought it was gonna be, but, but we don't, so it doesn't really cut hold here, really cut hold in it. Yeah, that's mine. I went to the Dollar Tree. I spent three dollars buying the stuff, and there you go. Happy Let me tell you something. This man is not going to get on my nerves, y'all. He is not going to get on my nerves. He's not going to get on my nerves. He just got over being sick. He's still a little congested. What? The, what? We don't even know what the hell it is. I told him I think it's his allergies, right? I think it's his allergies. So anyway, um. I go in and ask him, I need to be quiet. I go in and ask him, I'm like, okay, so what time is your appointment? Because it was the surgery basically, because I need to drop him off and turn around and go pick up JB. Because his, his surgery is at 1.30, JB has to be picked up by 2.30. And this is in downtown Phoenix, right? So he's like, he doesn't even answer. He's like, I can't eat for two hours. I can't eat for two hours beforehand. I looked at him like, I don't give a damn about you not being able to eat for two hours. I need to know what to... And then I said, I said, I, I had an emergency C-section. Now I know some of y'all think, Vivian, what does it have to do with him having cataract surgery? Because, damn it, when I had my emergency C-section, they said, uh, you can't eat or drink. And I was like, what? Do y'all know how hard it is for a pregnant woman not to eat? Child, so don't, don't tell me that you can't eat for two hours before your damn eye surgery. I don't care about that. Drink some water. That's why I don't want to say drink some water. Eat some ice. Yeah, he ain't gonna worry me. <laughs> He's not gonna worry me. Mm -mm. So look, we had, I keep changing the plans on everything. And he getting on my nerves about this because he's saying, well, I don't know. I said, well, do you want to go to the movies or go out to eat? He said, well, I don't know how I'm gonna feel. I said, okay, that's why we can, you know, wait till Sunday. He said, well, no, we make we make you out Friday. I'm like, look, you need to let me know when because that means I gotta do my hair early, y'all. I'm gonna do those two videos. I'm gonna buy that um, blow dryer with the with the brush, the Revlon blow, blow styler, whatever the hell it's called. Yeah, excuse me, I'm scared of because he's getting on my nerves. So I'm like, you need to let me know because I need to wash my hair like tomorrow if that's the case. Well, I wanna know how I get up and feel. I said, I get it. I understand. I get it. I, I I really do. I say I get it. I understand. So, and plus, I don't think I want to go to the movies. Why is a lot of people anyway? AKA on the weekend because the flu is out of control. We all know it's an epidemic. I got on YouTube. Apparently, Leia Gordon has the flu. Every day when I'm on Facebook, every day, every other day when I get on Facebook, one of my friends, someone in their family has the flu. And I don't have a lot of friends on Facebook, you guys. I probably have, I have less than 500 friends. I know that on Facebook. Half of them are people from Longview, hell. So, 
<laughs> or family members. And um, that's about it. Yeah, I'm not doing nothing. My coworker was like, this is your first year as a married couple. What are you going to do? I said, drive him to his damn cataract surgery. <laughs> Hey y'all, we just came back from whole paycheck. Look at this. Two bags. Two bags of groceries. A hundred dollars. Two bags. A hundred dollars. Yeah. I don't know what day it is, but um, I think it's the 15th. My husband's surgery went well, but girl, oh, uh, well, let me just go ahead and, and elaborate on that. It went really well, and we just got back from um, follow up for the eye specialist and we stop by Whole Foods to pick up some stuff because I'm like, look, I'm not cooking. I am so tired. His surgery was scheduled for 1.30. Ask me why they didn't call him back there till like 2.40. It was raining yesterday. It was cold yesterday, at least cold for us in the 50s. So I know that area a little bit is downtown Phoenix um, and I knew there was a Chick-fil-A that has an indoor playground. So I'm like, look, Jamie, let's just pack up all our stuff because everybody in here has great hair. I don't need you to be raising anyone's blood pressure. You know, these people are here trying to get their cataracts done. So I took my baby, sorry, I took JB and we went to Chick-fil-A. No, I had something to eat because I was hungry as hell. I had a wrap, the vegan wrap, which is on the secret menu, and some fries. Now, I've been having this every two weeks, y'all, truth be told, because the chicken to me now is salty. So, I love to have, again, it's the wrap, no chicken, and they add beans and corns to it, right? So, I ate it. It was good. Great. Go get my husband. Let me back up. An hour passed by after I've eaten it, right? Go get my go to the to the chiropractor office and 30 minutes pass by. JB's with me. He's doing good. He's on his good behavior. So an hour and a half after I had ate, I'm starting to feel nauseated. Girl, I'm starting to my stomach is hurting. I'm feeling I'm getting cotton mouth, saliva building up. I'm like, you know what? I gotta throw up. I'm feeling queasy. I am not feeling good. So I'm like, I, I'm not gonna throw up in no public area. So I'm gonna take it home, which is like 40 minutes away. Get home, did what I had to do, got sick. And around eight o'clock towards the night, I start to feel achy. I'm like, oh, I don't feel good at all, girl. All night up until it's 12 o'clock, I'm talking about chills. I had a, a slight fever. I mean, my temperature went up to like 100. Um, other bodily issues, basically a stomach flu. I'm still queasy, my body is still hurting. I got me some, I got me some ibuprofen um, and some Pepto-Bismol, but, but um, one thing I did do that literally, and I should have recorded this, but I wasn't feeling good up until now. I did a detox bath. It consisted of Epsom salt, baking powder, um, lavender oil, thieves oil. Yeah, and that's it. I soaked in that for about 30 minutes. I'm telling you, I felt so much better. I'm gonna do another one tonight before I go to bed. Hell, I'm gonna do one every damn day if I know I'm gonna do it. But I'll do one tonight, and I'll probably do one tomorrow. And I should feel better. I should be there. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get my ginger tea together. Drink that off and on all day. I got some stuff that I can eat throughout the day. Cause I said I'm not cooking. Maybe not tomorrow either. Look, I'm looking to see who's behind me. All right, y'all. Um. Yeah, no more Chick Fil A for me for a while. Actually, no more eating out for me for a while anyway. Good morning, good morning, you guys. I am making bone broth this morning after my uh, run in with the stomach flu girl, whatever the hell that was. So what this is, is, I took about two pounds of bones that I bought from Whole Foods and roasted those for about 45 minutes on 400 degrees. Added some bottled water, three sticks of carrots, celery, onions, ginger, and yes, this has been simmering all night. It'll probably simmer all day. Um, Cause after about 24 hours, that's when it gets real good, girl. So yeah, it's gonna simmer for a while. 
And yeah, y'all, that's what's going on today. It's Friday. It's Friday. And I'm ready to swing. Okay, so yeah, I just have these two. So I may need to buy about two or three more at Walmart. I got a lot of stuff I got to get at Walmart, y'all. Um, a lot of cleaning stuff. Let me see what this child is doing. I'm trying to teach JB, Jabessa, to get himself ready. Y'all, my child's not going to be six or seven years old. Wait for me to help him to get ready. So let me make sure. You okay, baby? Hey, 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 wait a minute. Are you going to go with me to the store or are you going to stay here with daddy? This is what I'm talking about. Are you going to go with me to the store or are you going to stay here? JB? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go then. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go. And I got to go. I'll, I'll catch you later. This is my chair. You using that baking soda? I always use baking soda. Guys, I, you're supposed to always use baking soda when you're trying to brush your teeth. We are at Walmart. Y'all, I just ran into my friend's mom. She was getting ready to put a cart back and she's like, do you want it? I said, I do. I said, and I looked at her, I said, you look familiar. And she's like, well, I'm not from here. I'm, I'm from Honduras. So um, speaks, speaks extremely proper in the form that, almost like she's a, a educator and come to find out she's a teacher. So anyway, uh, She's like, I'm not from here. I'm from South America. I'm, I'm from Honduras. I said, well, my friend's mom is from Honduras. She's like, well, what's your friend name again? I said, D. And she's like, oh. I said, yeah. I said, we actually FaceTimed with you one time when JB was two years old. We don't need those right now, baby. Yeah. Come back here, Uh-uh, uh-uh. Come on, sweetheart. Hey, I know you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on. I saw you on the Oh, anyway, she's like, yeah, I'm, come over here, baby. She's like, yeah, I'm here in the country because, you know, Dee's traveling all around the world. So I decided at the last minute that we're going to go see um, Black Panther today, opening day. But we're going to go early, like around 2 o'clock. They're literally showing it every 30 minutes in my local theater. So we're going to go 2 o'clock where hopefully it won't be a lot of people. Ooh, girl, let the light go in. Let the light let it girl look at that gold lip yeah i really can't see the color in here i oh, know we just got back from watching black panther fabulous movie fabulous movie there was a couple of things i had to tell my husband because he just know that we're gonna go see a black panther he probably thought black panther and not something else but yeah it was a good movie i really did enjoy it. i'm not gonna give any spoilers which by the time I upload this girl. Y'all probably should have seen it by now, but absolutely love the movie. Um, wasn't what I expected. There was a couple of things that I was assuming before the movie even came on, and I'm glad that it met my expectations and that there were some surprises. So yeah. Good baby. Oh, I left. I left the other way in the car. Oh, uh, see, you were blaming me on it, child. Hey y'all, good morning, good morning. It is Saturday morning. These leggings I have on are a little dirty. Look like I've been baking pancakes, girl. I'm making pancakes. Speaking of, y'all, let me let me kind of make this to where y'all can see us. Um, Yesterday. Toy, yeah, okay, JP. Yesterday, look. I am over making special foods for everyone in my household. Up until two or three months ago, I would make JB something special just for him, and then I would cook dinner for my husband and I. I'm over that. I'm tiring. And granted, it wasn't like make something special. Maybe JB wanted me to make him some pancakes, or I need to do something special for him. I'm not doing that anymore. He's five years old. I told my husband, I said, if you want to cook him something differently, you can, but I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not going to make a three, four hey, course I'm meal. <laughs> so let me tell you what happened. I, I was snapping off, y'all, because I was tired. It was the end of the day. This was Friday. I had been working, but I did go see Black Panther, as y'all saw. Um, just over it all. It was, a, it was a long week. I was ready for it to be over. And now you want me to make you some pancakes? 
And look at all this good food. Why did it look so sticky? So, my husband doesn't know how to cook at all, girl. I think the only thing he knows how to cook is goat, <laughs> beef, and some grits. And we, he ain't gonna eat none of that, right? So, I said, well, have your daddy. This is one of those moments. Ask your daddy. Moments. Gotta ask your daddy. And so, he he reluctantly, after four or five Ask Your Daddies, he finally got up. This is my husband. He finally got up, reading the box of pancake mix. Granted, this is the only, uh, this is one of those mixes where all you do is add water. That's it, girl. Water. That's it. So, he's asking JB, okay, so where's the pancake mix? I'm like, oh, Lord, please don't, 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 don't work my nurse right now. So, I found the pancakes mix for him. And then he's like, okay, well, I got to get some butter. Found the butter. Girl, I sat there, had my her my headphones in because I don't want to hear the foolery. I don't want to hear it. All of a sudden, I hear JBL, that's not how you do it. <laughs> I walked in there. This man had my good, cast, not cast iron, it was the ceramic. My favorite ceramic. The, the heat was on medium high, which is way too high to be cooking some pancakes medium high he had thinned the pancake out so much he was basically in there making some damn crepes or crepes what have you put some crepes i'm like this is too thin to be some pancakes i said you need to put some i said no no first of all you have the eye up too high you need to turn it down low you need to put some more powder in here because it's this pancakes are way too thin for him so two or three of those jb was like i'm not mm -mm, that looked nah, uh uh I said, oh my God. So I told Tom, basically, y'all, it was like, remember that scene from The Color Purple where Mr. went in there cooking that food for Suge Avery? And she was basically like sitting in the rocking chair looking at him like, he is going to mess this kid. You... Anyway, that happened yesterday. So, yeah. Well, anyway, we are on our way to the Goodwill. Well, first, I'm going to get some coffee, you guys. I'm not buying any coffee for the household for a while. Um, I've been drinking tea, but I need some coffee this morning. <laughs> Probably don't, but I do. So I'm gonna stop by, give me some coffee. Then we're gonna go to the Goodwill because I want to look at some stuff, do a little bit of browsing. I have I have a little extra cushion this month, so I want to look around the Goodwill. And uh, then we're gonna go to the Dollar Tree. I need to buy some cleaning products around the house. And um, then we're gonna go to Staples. I'm gonna take y'all with me this morning to run our errands, right, Boo Boo? Yeah. Look at this. These are pretty. I think I make it these. I think they're really. I really do like these. Whoa, I think I'm gonna get these. Uh, 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 uh. Don't touch anything. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Well, that's not heavy. Yeah. Uh. Shows it all the way. What is that all in your hair, baby? We gotta wash your hair either today or tomorrow, definitely. <sighs> oh, what is she doing over here? A lizard, right there. He's a they're chameleons, I think. Back, and let me show you guys what I got from the Goodwill. I found these beautiful they're um, bowls. They look like they could be salad or soup bowl, not soup bowls, but definitely salad bowls. But these beautiful, I like odd shaped looking salad. dishware. So these, let me show you how much it was. I love the price. Cause you're gonna don't touch that boy. Don't you dare touch it. Look at that. Yes, 99 cents for each one. And I turned the back of it, and it says that it's Pamela Pamela Glading. Uh, hey, put that down, please. China. And I went on eBay and found a set that someone was selling for thirty dollars. Yes, girl. And I only bought. Only spent four dollars for all four of these. Not a bad deal at all. Hold on, 
baby. Hold on, hold on. Okay. You ready? Now go. Wow, 150 tickets. All right, what else do you want to play? So y'all not supposed to be watching me ratchet TV this month, but I had to give in and watch Married to Medicine. I'm not Are you in the bathroom? Did you go to the bathroom? Did you go to the bathroom? I like the um, garden. Mm. And I'm glad I did <clears throat> watch it because I'm liking mm. it right now. And it's, it's, it's entertaining. It's not as ratchet. Let me tell you something. The enemy does not like marriages. He wants to see people divorced and being lustful because I logged onto Facebook and immediately clicked off when I saw this. Do you see that? Do you see that? See that? Do you see that? Sit down, baby. Do you see Sit that? Sit down, baby. Sit down. That would be Chadwick. That would be Let me Chadwick. tell you something. This child, sorry, y'all. He's pushing me all around. When I saw that, I immediately clicked out of, oh, well, I, 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 I took in about 10 seconds. I took in about 10 seconds of the landscape, and then I had to click out of that man. It's so fine. It is an overcast out here. The weather, I think it's gonna start storming soon, and it's been storming. My coworker says, um, hailing in her side of the town, and she's on the East Valley of Phoenix. It's gonna start storming. Yeah, it's been getting dark and stuff, but I just had my dinner early because I need to start eating early and once I drop JB off to school in the morning I'm going to walk um I did a hit exercise yesterday which is why I'm taking a break today I heard that you're really not supposed to do a hit exercise every day um I don't know why this music here is so loud y'all yeah, met Walmart one of you help us told me about Ozzy having a new products but uh look at this by Suave. 147 hair mask. Oh yeah, I I'm about to get a couple of these. Why is this music so loud? I I'm getting it. Yeah, I don't see. This is the Aussie line, but you know what I, I saw and I want to try, but it's too small. Look at these hair masks. But going to your fruities. One minute, but I, I wouldn't eat one of these, and I don't feel like paying six dollars for that right now. Um, Whew, hey y'all, um, my days are just jacked up so jacked up that the last three or four days I've just been I don't know, I've just I, I'm not together, I, I don't have it together, and that's very rare for Miss Jackson, excuse me, Mrs. Denza, to not have it together. Hell, so, um, oh, girl, get to the point. <clears throat> I missed JB's um, teacher's conference, parent-teacher conference this morning. I mean, y'all see me, I got all dressed up and shit. I get there rushing JB, and I missed it. Like, for some reason, I thought it was at 940. Girl, it ended at 940. It started at 920. I'm like, oh, my God. So, she was very understanding. She's like, well, um, why don't you come back at 1? I have availability. I'm like, cool, done checked my calendar i'm like i have another meeting at one but i'm gonna postpone that meeting to go to this parent teacher conference because yeah just all over the place <laughs> um i have a meeting actually in 30 minutes so i need to haul ass home I'm at walmart because i had to get some more water um let me put this on here y'all i just got out of meeting with my co-worker i love working with my co-worker and i told her this before um a couple of a months ago, actually, and if you work with someone who makes you feel a certain way and you get along, let them know that, you know, we're friends outside of, of work. Really, we don't meet up a lot, but I've gone out to dinner with her and her husband before. Um, but, um, what's the point? I let her know that I really do enjoy working with you. Um, it's, it's nice to work with someone who has your back and knows never going to try to throw you under the, 
the uh rug but let me tell you how god works because i really do think that god places people together in certain situations let me tell you how great my god is or our god is uh we used to work for the same organization at one point and we were in similar roles we actually know people who we know people who work you know at apollo group basically that owns university of phoenix and wiu it's called apollo group anyway to the point to where I was going through documentation where she used to work there and I saw her name on rosters. So anyway, um, I told her, I said, once we started working, I said, did you used to work for Apollo Group? She's like, yes. I said, I saw your name on old documentation. And she's like, that is so funny. So we've been working together for six years. She's been with the company for 10 years. And I only reason why I'm talking about this because we just got out of a meeting and we just, we vibe well together and it's good to work with people who are like that um we spend a good 30 minutes just kicking it up and just talking talking about people we used to work with and just catching up and um now i'm about to catch up into these cinnamon rolls girl i made some cinnamon rolls Woo let me get the icing y'all i used to be so greedy not that i'm not i'm not i'm not as greedy as i used to be but i used to be so greedy that i would make my own caramel sauce from scratch i will mix it with the one that comes with this i will pour it on top but i'm not done then i will sprinkle some nuts on top cinnamon at home so there was something else i want to tell y'all oh let me show y'all what i bought from walmart hold on I don't know why I'm talking so loud. And I'll show y'all what I'm cooking later on. I'm making hot wings, greens. My husband's coming back. Potatoes and corn. Let me show you what I bought. And I'm gonna do a formal review on this. Suave has new packages. I couldn't help it, y'all. Almond and shea butter deep conditioning and coconut milk deep conditioning mask. I'm gonna do one on this side, one on this side. <laughs> My are you calling me so you guys these are the the fabric i picked up from walmart let me show you all the one i got stop it baby got this nice pattern polka dot one maroon blue and this gray stripe now what these are are basically um like fabric swatches not really yeah you kind of sort of yeah those fabric squares they only sell for like 97 96 cents and so i have one two three so even though i have well, I gotta, let me show you what hold I on baby even though i have five here i'm gonna make about seven of them so example i'm gonna pair up this polka dot one and blue one to make one um, i'm also gonna pair up this pattern and this blue, I will baby. I'm gonna pair up this pattern and a blue one to make another one. So I can make about, like I said, about seven or eight it's out of this. Day. And then I'm going it's to, this is gonna be no sew by the way. I'm gonna be making, um, using these no. clips and super glue the clip on the back. Hey y'all, so these are all the ties, the bow ties I did. Um, and I'll be hey. linking, you need to hush, baby. I'll be linking below the video I looked at to do it. Uh, I mean, these are very simple, but um, they all look fairly different because I freehand some of them. Like this one right here is a little skinnier. I need to cut some more of this back off. This one right here is a little bit skinnier, uh, whereas, you know, some of these are wider. Like, see how wide this one is? Uh, and by freehanded, meaning that I basically just took the fabric, gathered it up, and just pinched it and put the ball on top. Some of these I'm gonna go back and sew so that I make it a little bit, um, I don't know, a little bit tighter in my opinion. This right here is my favorite one. It looks, it looks the neatest. Um, he said that he likes this one, girl. So, okay, so I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like on next in the shirt. So yeah, I have to go back and make that a little bit better like that. I like this one. And what I did is I purchased some of these clips like this two or three dollars and just glued it on the back like this so that literally hey. it'll just clip in like that isn't that cute y'all so all of this together cost me seven or eight bucks and we got one two three four five six seven eight bows hey y'all i'm in my closet trying to figure out what i'm gonna wear um we're gonna go out to eat on saturday and hold on y'all 
And I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to wear Sunday for church. I already got that figured out. The temperature has dropped, y'all. So it's a little chilly. I think I'm going to wear, <coughs> excuse me, asthma's acting up. You hear that, Weezin? You see this cardigan? Isn't this cute? This cute little leopard print cardigan. But then I'm going to pair it with these um, tights. These textured looking. You see that? That'll be cute, huh? And I've worn these once before. And my boots. And then I just picked up a simple dress for, um... Sunday, but yeah, y'all, I was talking to my best friend whenever I, I need just, she's my best friend for a reason. So I was telling her, like, you know, this is our first time going out in like two months, going out to eat. I don't even think it's been that long, but it's been, it felt like it's been a while. But I told her, I said, I want to avoid those sugary drinks. So what do you do, you know, when you want to go out and have a drink? She stated that, which makes, which is really good advice, but I don't think I'm going to do it only because she said that she makes herself a drink at home so that she can control what's in it basically can control the sugar and then when she's out she have like one glass of wine and that's it so it's not like you know she just wants to get a little buzz she starts off at home and then finish off afterwards yes. you want some more mm -hmm. okay baby i gotta go ahead child sorry y'all before i was rudely interrupted look um yeah, I'm going to have to go and get some new glasses soon. I try to get glasses every two years. These glasses are about two years old. And I like these glasses because they kind of look like Tiffany <clears throat> glasses. Um, these glasses are my Versace glasses. You guys typically see me wear these a lot. The red ones. And then I have another pair back here. Um, these black ones. Anyway, I want to show you all my glasses. But, girl, I'm toying back and forth whether or not I want to do that because I literally have two boxes of contacts left for the entire year now if you're familiar with your your for your eye insurance you can only use it for contacts or glasses um and when i looked up how much my contacts would cost with my insurance i can get half a year with a discount code through lenscrafts i calculated it came up to like five dollars y'all five dollars as opposed to probably out of pocket for new glasses it'll be like 150 is what i'm my budget is going to be about 150 dollars um i was going to say so i don't know if i told y'all but my plastic surgery is um scheduled for may mid-may so girl yes i will be snatch by my birthday my birthday is august 11th um and definitely snatch in time for the uh reunion i was telling my my sister that she was like oh so you're gonna be good and ready by the time your high school reunion comes i said yes ma'am so yeah may <clears throat> may 17th is when i schedule it and of course signal came back and said we have um what is it we approved it between these dates girl they're like february to may 19th is the window you have to have it done and i'm pretty sure if i wouldn't schedule it in between that i have to do the entire process over again so yeah went ahead and got in there but one of the things i want to do i believe in thanking people especially when they help me to do something like this so i've been going to this chiropractor who my husband was also going to mostly um two years ago i've been going to this particular chiropractor off and on for two years with last year me going consistently so he was always just very understanding, very empathetic. He even wrote me a letter and included a letter um, in the documentation that I sent to Cigna, my insurance, basically recommending that I get um, breast reduction. So anyway, long story short, I'm going to be making him some brownies, the entire office. I'm going to making them um, a batch of brownies because I know I was giving, so I was definitely giving that office manager not necessarily a hard time, but we was going back and forth with the plan of care. All right, so let me show y'all what I'm cooking. You have to ex ignore the vent. Um, to speed up the process with my potatoes, what's that? Oh, I boil, boil down these and I'm going to pop these into the oven. I'm going to drench with olive oil. I have onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, paprika, um, Italian seasonings. And I'm going to bake these at 375, uh, about 25 minutes. Um, along with that, I have some chicken wings here. Not chicken wings, drumettes. Um, I made a sauce here of ketchup, barbecue sauce, hot sauce, a little bit of butter, mostly olive oil. Um, did I say barbecue sauce? Here are my greens, cabbage, carrots, jalapenos, garlic, so good. And I have some corn over here boiling and 
I have a cake here baking. This is just one cake pan, nine inch cake pan that I'm gonna serrate in half. Yummy. These are, no baby. These are blueberries, they're not grape. Here's the cake, you guys. Very I like light blueberries. butter cake with whipped cream. Ew, that's yuck. This is my chicken, girl. Look at that chicken, look at that chicken. Mm. That's yuck. You better, if the devil is alive. And here are the red potatoes. So that's it, you guys. My Ew. husband is in the back. I don't know what he's doing. I think he's in a meeting. Not it for you, too. So that is it for this vlog. No, Bye, no, you no, guys. No, 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 Hold on, y'all. You. Here, baby. And sugar is the most yummy candy. The most yummy candy. You said sugar is the most yummy candy. Yes.